Hey there guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and tonight I've got another TV gaming test for you. And the TV that we're going to be testing out this evening is this 65 inch 8K Samsung QN800A. And the console that we're going to be testing out with is the Xbox Series X. Now, just before we get into the very first game, I just want to show you what it says on the Xbox Series X when it comes to the 4K TV details. So just going into here then, and as you can see at the top, it does say your TV supports 4K UHD at 120 hertz. Your TV setup supports to native 4K at 120 frames per second, but sadly goes on to say your TV setup doesn't support Dolby Vision for gaming. Your TV setup uh, doesn't support Dolby Vision. Okie dokie, we are up and running then with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And my god, just look how good it looks. I've not played this game in uh, quite some time and I just forgot how good it really is. And that is just jaw dropping. Fair play, this is a mint looking game. You've really got to try this out if you haven't. And um, this TV is a uh, making it look spectacular. So um, before I actually just get into giving you some more details about the TV itself, I just wanna say a really big thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for sending over this TV, which has allowed me to make this video. Now, if you are looking to purchase a new TV, then please go and check out their link in the description. If you're to purchase this TV from Box, you'll be able to take advantage of the free six year protection plan that is included. The fact that they price match all their major competitors and they're even throw in free delivery. So please go check out their link in the description. So let's run down a few specs of this TV for you then. So this TV is available in three different sizes. So 65 inch, 75 inch and 85 inches. It's a mini LED screen. Has four HDMIs, which are 2.1, which means it can do 4K at 120 Hertz or 8K at 60 Hertz. It has VRR, FreeSync Premium Pro, ALLM or Auto Low Latency Mode, HDR10+, HLG, HGIG, and the speakers are rated at 70 watts, which are 4.2.2 channels. So all in a well-specced screen. So yeah, just going back to the visuals then, and it does look absolutely spectacular. Now, we've just finished shooting a um, similar video with the PlayStation 5, and as I uh, said in that, obviously there's not uh, really much 8K content out there at the moment, but where uh, these TVs do shine is um, when it comes to just making things that extra bit sharper. And, uh, you know, that's what you want, especially on those bigger size screens, so like your 75 and 85 inches. When I've like been pixel peeping in the past, these 8K screens just really do improve that sharpness, you know, when it comes to like the upscaling. So, uh, yeah, they do have their uses. So, you know, don't just be put off because, you know, there's not uh, 8K content that's broadcast over the airways. You know, they do have their other benefits. Now, just for a demonstration of that sharpness, let's just go in a little bit closer. Oh, and excuse me if you see a uh, it's a weird effect on the screen. That's just our Christmas tree reflecting there. So uh, nothing to worry about there. But look, if we go in real close, I'm now almost smacking the camera on this screen. Just waiting to see someone wave out the window.
Right, we are up and running now with Halo Infinite. Now the uh, next subject I want to touch on is the Samsung Game Bar. And uh, this is a very handy feature. So currently we are in the automatic game mode. And if we grab our remote control and just hold down on the play button, that brings up our game bar. And this has loads of useful information. So as we can see, starting off from the left, it says about input lag there, fastest frames per second. Don't know what's going on with that. We had this last time, didn't we? It's fluctuating between sort of like 119, 120 down to sort of 59, 60 sort of thing. Um, don't know why that is, but anyway, that's meant to read out your frames per second. Then it indicates uh, that we've got HDR turned on. VRR, FreeSync Premium as well there. So uh, yeah, and the TV uh, sound output, which is TV speakers. So very handy information. And I just love the fact it's simply one button press away to find out that information. You've not got to go digging through menus. What also it has that's helpful is the uh, game mode settings. Again, are just one press away. So uh, you can get that up that game bar. You think, well, you know what? I want to change something on this. Hit up on that and you're straight into those uh, game picture settings. So uh, that's uh, really handy. And there's lots of people I know out there who've got older models of Samsung that have been dying to get uh, this game bar. And uh, it seems to be the only way that you can get it is by upgrading. So uh, it's, like I say, it's a handy thing. And other manufacturers have uh, followed suit. And dare I say it, they have copied Samsung. So. Uh, Fair play that you know they've uh, come out with that ideal idea first, and I think I think it is uh, very good. So looking at this game then in more depth, once again looks very nice on this TV, and uh, colours are nice on it as well. Not looking washed out or anything like that. Nice and rich. Again, really pin sharp. That's one thing that I do like about these pin sharp, and of course. Uh, very good brightness with these TVs indeed. Um, not so great when they're very dark scenes, I feel. I've never found a QLED yet that's been, you know, perfect sort of OLED like levels. It got close to it, but not quite there yet. Um, but when it comes to brightness, I tell you, there ain't much out there on the market that can trump Samsung. So if you've got a bright room, trust me, you ain't gonna go far with, wrong with one of these TVs. You can really crank up the brightness and they can really overcome, you know, uh, a lot of daylight streaming into a room and uh, other TVs may struggle in a similar environment. So I think we'll wrap up this video about here then. It's giving you guys enough of an idea of what you can expect with this TV and some of the great features that it has to offer. Now, if you have enjoyed the video today, do us a favor and uh, just spare me a second to hit that thumbs up button and uh, please think about subscribing to the channel. So many of you watch my videos, but you do not subscribe. And uh, I'd love for you to help me out because I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and I can only do it with your help. And yeah, I don't care if I am begging for uh, subscriptions. I want to hit that goal and I've worked hard for it. So I'd really appreciate it. If you could just spare me a second, to, again, to uh, hit that subscribe button, you know, doesn't cost you a penny makes a massive deal to me. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me today and hopefully I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.